But there were definitely some people in the house yeah. that you could tell did not live with other people before. And <laughs> <laughs> probably should never live with other people ever again. I am super excited to talk about the new season of The Surreal Life. Like, I grew up watching this show, and I cannot wait for it to be back. I, right off the bat, I'm super curious how each of you came to be on The Surreal Life and what it was that, like, appealed to you. Uh, Tamar, if you want to go first, you're to my left. Sure. Um, <clears throat> I was approached very early, and... Um, very early, I wanted to be a part of it because I, too, was a huge fan back in the day. Mm -hmm. And I just remember the show being so fun and so funny and cool to watch. Um, I wanted my own experience. So here I am. And that's why I joined. Oh, that's awesome. And yes. what about you, uh, August? I mean, it was it was just a, something new for me to do. I had just, I was sick for a while and had just uh, overcome being paralyzed and stuff. So oh, wow. um, I, it really gave me an opportunity. I had to get clearance from my doctor to go do it, but it gave me the opportunity to kind of go see where my body was, where my mental health was after all of that and um, challenge myself to do something new and be around new new people, so. Yeah. And how was that, you know, going from such a, a health scare, going into the house and being around everyone like that? It was interesting. It was, <laughs> it was, uh, it was interesting. It, 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 it kind of, um, I, I think that when you kind of run into health issues, um, that you can begin to focus more so on your weakness, but, going into the house around everybody else, it kind of showed me more of my strengths as opposed to my weaknesses. So. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's good. Okay. And, and CJ, what about you? I was a huge fan. I, um, yeah, I was, I would run home from school to watch it. And so when I got the call, it was really insane because being a for, um, former professional dancer an actor, professional wrestler, you spend a lot of your time auditioning and getting a lot of no's and a lot of rejection. And so to be able to get a call that you're on this, celebrity show that you know they pro they the process was a long time they took like eight months for the casting and so all the people that they considered and all the numbers in the world it's just i was blown away i was very honored as well as um was like i gotta do this like out of all the people like i gotta say yes so um it was wild <laughs> it's an understatement oh, yeah. Well, and, and were any of you kind of shocked at who ended up in the house with you? Was there any like name that really shocked everyone when they heard it? I, I mean, I was really surprised. I mean, I, I guess Dennis Rodman is someone like as a kid I would watch and my dad is like obsessed with him and my husband's obsessed with him. And, uh, you know, I as a kid, I think when you're young, the people that are, the Chicago Bulls were very influential in my life as a child. And so the see like, oh, my gosh, as when I was really young, I would watch him and he was the crazy one and he wrestled. That was like I could I, I kind of, I guess, geeked out a little bit. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What about you, Tamar? August, anyone that uh, shocked um, you? I was the second person in the house, so I got a chance to see everyone <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> who, who came in the house. But the first person that I ran into was Dennis Rodman. And I, I, I think I bust out laughing when I saw him. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing here? You nuts? <laughs> I, just knew, I knew, child, that, you know, from there, it could only be goodness <laughs> coming through the door. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, and I, you know, just from the, the trailer that I've seen, I saw that Dennis was you know, being pretty hilarious and pretty outrageous around the house. Does anyone have a favorite uh, Dennis moment that they want to share? It's so many. I don't even yeah. know what made it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, the biggest sure. one is when we were, uh, I guess, what was that 50 feet in the air? Um, and we were all, first of all, I was freaking out because I'm afraid of heights. Um, but Dennis tells this story about how one of his teammates slept with his wife and they told him right before a game. And we had no idea where that came from. Like, who was talking, who was ordering, who was going to eat and drink and stuff. And so it was, Did it just I mean, it's a horrible you? story. Yeah. But, you know, it was just very awkward <laughs> yeah yeah well yeah. you know you can't think about how high up in the air you are if you're focused on that so there you go pretty much yeah well and, and 
I have to know who's the best and who's the worst roommate. I, I'm very curious. Is there a consensus or does everyone have a... Well, I'm going to start if that's okay. Yeah. I feel so blessed and honored to be have roomed with Tamar. And I can't even start to tell you how much I, I immediately was expressing to my parents. I saw them like right coming back after the show. And um, yeah, I mean, her and I bonded over Jesus. And I feel like I really lacked that in my life. And I know, I know that's like August is cracking up because oh it's, it's kind of hilarious. But um, yeah, it, it kind of got me through the show because I would have panic attacks. And, um, you know, I just kind of turned like listening to CC Widens and she's <laughs> singing it. And I'm like, oh my God, she's so amazing. And then Tamar is also hilarious. Like she's mm-hmm. so, so funny. And she's just always would be saying what I'm thinking, but I didn't have the courage to say. And so <laughs> that was also very, like, I love that. Um, but also she just, she's, um, was very inspiring to me because of everything that she has had been through, especially from the year before Mm -hmm. and like the anniversary of the situation Mm -hmm. um, and just bringing a lot of awareness to mental health for me and realizing that I had to really focus on that and using words that I had never even heard, like tools. Like Mm -hmm. I use these, I'm like, what are tools, you know? And, but really we need tools to cope with things that we struggle with. And I'm so, so grateful for it. And it's very, very inspiring. Um, And I'm, I'm so glad I had her as a roommate, truly. I feel the same way, CJ. CJ was an amazing roommate, um, you know, because she brought light to everything, you know, Mm -hmm. even when you felt like it was very heavy, she just made it seem like, oh, it's not even really that serious. Like, Mm -hmm. it's whatever. (laughs) Yeah. You know, and it kind of made me, it really did. It kind of made me like not be so serious. You know what I mean? Um, But there were definitely some people in the house. Yeah. (laughs) That you could tell did not live with other people before. And <laughs> <laughs> probably should never live with other people ever again. Yeah. And, <laughs> and that's kind of interesting. And I don't want to spoil it for you because I'm sure that's going to be in the show. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> well, and, and uh, you know, Tamar and CJ brought it up. How was it, you know, being in the house, being in this kind of odd situation as uh, the anniversary of, of the past year kind of came up? Was that difficult or was it nice to have people around you? Um, It was nice to have people around me who were um, Mm non-judgmental. Because how it even came up with CJ's because when when I was going through the airport, uh, I think I was on the cover of People and I grabbed it on the way to to uh, Mexico where we shot. And I think the the, me- the magazine was on the bed and she was like, what's that? Oh, <laughs> and yeah. I had to explain to her, I was like, read the yeah. article and then we'll have, you know, a discussion about it. Yeah. And just to yeah. come into a situation where, you know, you're you're not judged, but, yeah. you know, somebody who, who can identify, wow, I've been there before. Mm-hmm. You know, my story is not your story, but, you know, I also too have had, you know, mental struggles. And so that kind of really truly opened the door for everyone in the house to talk about where they were mentally, which was a beautiful thing. So we all really truly bonded over that. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love hearing that everyone was able to come together about that. And kind of as you're all together, you're spending all this time together, you're getting to know people in a different way. Was there anything that you think that viewers are going to get to see about you that's a little different than they what what they've seen before in the public eye? Uh, Anyone? August, do you want to go first? Um, <laughs> um, I mean, absolutely. I, I mean, I think for everybody on this show, mm-hmm. you just get to experience each individual as the person mm-hmm. that they show up as. Because, mm-hmm. you know, it, I was saying earlier that Instagram is um, only but so much and you can only learn about somebody but so much through 15 second clips, 30 second clips mm-hmm. or through a headline or a story. Um, and I find it interesting because at the end of it all when we die I guess that's all we really are are stories um wow. like wow. a ton of stories mm-hmm. put yeah. together um but you know I think that this opportunity for everybody kind of allowed everybody just to show up and be their authentic selves and you mm-hmm. know whatever whatever story you pull from that about a person um you just do mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What, what about you, CJ? Do you feel like you were shown in a different way? 
It's hard for me to say because Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, you know, you film so much and I have no idea. So you're going to have to tune in. Um, It's not my first encounter of reality TV. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're kind of to a certain extent, um, leave it up to the editors and (laughs) we'll watch it live for the first time with you. So that's going to be fun. Uh, But yeah, I mean, I, I was, I, I really went in, I really didn't want to lose my in the house yeah. like that was like my number one intention because I know that about myself and I know I can be pushed too far and then like go off and then like sometimes apologies just don't like people can forgive but the damage has been done so that was yeah. really like my intention of like okay I don't want to suplex anyone yeah <laughs> right anyone yeah. um so I'm I'm thankful for that but everything I mean I am silly I'm goofy I'm um you know I'm not just like oh let's put a like uh sexy tiktok up you know i am i have all these i guess quirk quirk quirk, you see i can't even pronounce words right now um quirks quirks uh about me so i I feel hopefully that i feel like they probably captivated that i mean i was tripping a lot so yeah all right Uh, right yeah Uh, so i don't have no idea i guess we'll see together we will and then i uh love hearing from all of you unfortunately we're out of time but I can't wait to see the season. And I really appreciate all of you taking the time to talk with me today. Thank you. Thank you, so you much. Boo. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thanks,